Hi guys, welcome to yet another sort of uh, system unboxing video. This is me by the way, I've said to uh, someone commenting, I never seem to appear on the videos, but I'm here, it's just I'm at a funny angle. I always, it, I've just, this is the perfect place for filming systems. I used to use the wooden table and uh, uh, it just didn't give me enough room to spread out and get things out. But yeah, I had some, I've had a few very special things. This is pretty much a Nintendo sort of based episode, or NES anyway. But I ordered the brand new NT Mini, which is version 2. Now, I couldn't actually get it in time. I wasn't... I wasn't really tempted to get one until because I had a retro, sorry, retro U, ugh, AVS, retro USB system, um, and those were about 200 quid. You know, a lot of money to import, and I thought it was top premium range. But the system itself, it would grip like, like the cartridges. It was like a vice. It would really dig into them, and and they would be like, I'd have to like be gripping up them, them up there, and they'd be like crackling it felt like the plastic was going to break and when you're paying like like that's pac-man but some games i've got you know they cost like 80 90 pounds a pop and i don't want to damage me uh, me originals but at the same time i want to be playing the original because it, it's all part of the experience for me i don't want to be relying on roms all the time uh, so it was a very sad and strange situation and then this thing came up and i was looking at buying getting rid of that and then looking at buying the the first version of this and then i realized that the the new one was due to come out uh august september time and i couldn't pre-order one because i'd already missed it and then i started looking on ebay and then they were they were like 800 quid <laughs> i've never spent that much on a console in the life before and uh, i bid on one and i got this one 850 pounds it, it was ludicrous now at the time, this was all before all the Brexit stuff kicked in, so there was no talk of like shipping problems or anything. Uh, and one of the biggest problems with this is, I mean, I paid for it in full back in September, October time, so I was all set. You know, I was covered on that. And then uh, when this arrived and came through customs, because uh, uh, this got me got to pay this bill, there was an extra like two hundred pounds charge on top. Now this was because of FedEx things to do with VAT and the, the recent uh, Trump trade stuff. Oh, I was furious, absolutely furious. So it cost me over a grand for a bloody console. I mean, I just bought me PS5 at the time. You know, I wasn't bleeding. I'm not made of money. I've only got so much. Anyway, so I'm going, I am gabbing on a bit. So as a system now, as a, it's not in this box, but this box is, is, you do get what you pay for. It's like an Apple product, you know, it's really plush when you, when I opened it up and uh, it's all like super soft inside and a uh, nice lovely card. You know? So at least you get a decent box. I'm just, just ripping and throwing that stuff out to get it out of the way. Yeah, I'm really treating this well. But yeah, it's not in there at the moment, it's off to the side, but this was all organized properly you got like a usb plug every like european us uk uh, adapters it's usb powered nice and simple uh, instruction booklet you know bits and bobs in there uh, yeah I, I was chuffed to bits they've just released a, a another jailbreak firmware now I, I, I like playing I mean I prefer playing NES originals on this because I you know I'm, I'm going after the full set one of my biggest regrets has always been selling I mean I was skint at the time I had no choice but I sold off my entire NES set and uh, I still regret it to this day and I'm up to about uh, well, as you know, I've got a big about 120, 130. I'm still working my way through that collection I showed off that time, but I'm I'm almost almost there for the UK V sets of about 220 carts. I'm uh, chuffed to bits with that. Anyway, anyway, as a system, here it is. Now, my God, this thing feels like a brick. It's all like plush metal. I think it's it's not like a, is it aluminium? I'm not entirely sure. You've got two slots on it. That's the NES one. That takes Famicom as well. Uh, you've got you don't need a four-player adapter because you've got four NES ports. Now, one thing it did come with is is like a wireless 8-bit do thingy pad. Now, I've never been a fan of the original NES. I I, I always use. I think I've shown it off a video before, but. Uh, I've got another pad which has got like nice curved corners there because when I'm playing a, a game I tend to rest it in my palms like this 
and this top these corners always dig into my hands and it's a night it, it, it look, might sound silly but when you're playing it for a really really long time it does tend to dig in your hands up there and it's it's not what you want when you're trying like a play decent rpg or you're focusing on a shooter now some turbo buttons on there i've not really used this again i prefer my other pad but uh as you can see it's uh wireless gubbins on it and things it comes with this nice uh, uh, like wireless adapter just uh, I've got that in the wrong the right way and uh, yeah yeah so it's like a, an FPGA system all real lovely very very nice and flush on the back you know I'm going with some real detail with this because it's such an expensive console and I doubt very many people have got them I love it, it it's it's like it's the the holy grail of NES clone systems it really is that good HDMI I don't know what oh S video composite component I think it, it works on uh, all the TVs as well it's got the bits for it speaker audio there uh, I don't know what that is headsets oh it'll do microphones I didn't know that bit it's got like this Famicom adapter thing and that's so you can plug in things like the Famicom disk system and all the expansion on the Famicom side USB adapters and down this side thankfully you've got a, a an SD card slot now there has been they've updated this a couple of times the the latest jailbreak uh, which I am going to put on I'm not bothered about collecting Famicom games it's not something I'm really interested in they're really difficult and expensive to buy so uh, I am going to jailbreak I'm waiting a bit because I always want to leave the the jailbreaks until they've had a, a couple of versions so I'm, I'm still on the second version I think you know roughly uh, anyway I love this to bits it's absolutely an amazing system now one of the biggest complaints seems to to have been at the time of a lot of people is the the cartridge slot is really loose and I think that's because when you put a, a cartridge in just do it so I'm, I'm balancing this on my knees so it's a bit there we go now to me that's a very satisfying clunk and and it really does it's so much better than the retro USB I ended up selling that so I could pay for this thing but watch this like can you see that it's uh, it's it's there's a lot of wobble there now I mean with me this is sat on the desk and once the you know you turn the system off you turn you put your cartridge in you turn it back on and that's it you don't touch the cartridge and uh, I've got a fairly stable desk so even if I kick the desk accidentally when near anything it's not gonna wobble it but it's like let's see I don't know if you see that there but I'm only started wobbling that and it does have a bit of leeway up there and I can actually get a pen lid into that gap just to, to stick it down now I have seen some 3d printed special adapters to go in the bottom of there I've not had to bother because it, it just worked. Oh, that's such a satisfying clunk. I'm getting quite uh, excited by the sound of a cartridge slot. But yeah, what system? I really do love it to bits. It's your typical uh, analog menus. Nothing to get too excited about. I mean, the underside is just... Uh, 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 oh, it's gorgeous. Look at that circuit board. It's like... Uh, I mean, some uh, PCs cracked open. Anyway, oh, I've got a mighty bit of dust on the bottom of there already. Okay. Anyway, I've got to, I'll clean that another time. Anyway, to get that out of the way, <laughs> see, I get too excited. I've also, as I said, it was a, a, an NES month, so I've been going a bit crazy. I just have to pick these things up. There was a, a, a Kickstarter for something called Ninty Fresh Magazine. Now, this was a, I don't know if you can see it up there, NES. Uh, right up to modern day and, and they did a kickstarter I missed the first issue ages and ages ago I mean years ago I used to do something called Nesbit uh, yeah Nesbit magazine about 10 years ago it was uh, it's, I really enjoyed doing it at the time so I, I sort of got a good idea of what this uh, these things involve and the amount of effort and work and that but yeah as a magazine I mean the quality of this it's it's really really thick in fact it's like a proper shop bought magazine the pages are that super high quality and uh, I can't remember how many pages it's about 80 uh, about oh, last page is it numbered is it numbered no it's not but I mean that's really high quality printing you can tell by the the thing that will really last a 
long time. I think that's issue one. This only literally arrived this morning, so <laughs> uh, over Christmas the, the postage system in the UK has been an absolute nightmare. But there was two magazines included in this, and because it was NES coverage, I, I thought I had to uh, get in there straight away. I think the second issue is 86, 90... Oh, it's about 96, 98, so 98 pages in total of uh, pure NES content. Uh, yeah, that's the second issue of coins. I mean, you know, it looks like a professional uh, magazine cover. Tons and tons of different articles and things. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, chuffed to bits. That did come with some special posters as well. They're all any sorry SNES, so uh, I think these are fine. Oh yeah, they're like F Zero fine art prints. It's not something that really interests me because uh, Super Nintendo's never really top of my list. I'm afraid, but uh, really neat poster in there of the the print. Very nice work. Anyway, let's get that one out of the way. I don't want to rip that and uh, destroy it whilst I'm messing about. But. Uh, Next up, because um, I'm a, an NES collector, I've seen this knocking around for ages, and it's the uh, Pat the Nes Pat Country, it's the, the Nes Punk Encyclopedia. Now this thing, it weighs a ton. It's like a Bible. It's absolutely massive, but decent hard print, and it basically it's like an encyclopedia that covers every single Nes game and. Uh, Try and lay it out. I don't, I don't know what's the best way of uh, showing that off with the quality wise. I think it's just solely written by him with some support from other, a couple of other people. But yeah, it's very, very impressive. Uh, the writing's not super duper amazing, but he's certainly done his uh, research on all the articles and things. Now usually this thing goes for about £100, but I noticed one on uh, eBay for... Forty pounds, but it had some cover damage. Now, uh, oh, don't want to get too heavy to to be fondling and rusting about. But uh, that's the cover damage. Now, I, I, it's a really thick, heavy book, so that's like being nudged at the corners, and you, you can see it all there, sort of on the spine. Now, I mean, for the that that sat on the shelf for me, I paid forty pound, I think, for that with that little damage. Uh, compared to about 120 or something uh, imported from the US from the original source so I wasn't too bothered I thought hell it, I'm gonna go for it and anyway as I'd, I'd ordered that I also ordered something called the uh, the wizard movie on blu-ray I'm still waiting for that to arrive for the uh, from the US otherwise that will be it but that's a region free I love that movie proper classic uh, Nintendo film from back in there I'm sure you're all, all aware of it if you're watching this firing but then I, I just discovered this, and it's the uh, yeah, it's the NES uh, anthology book. Now this is, this was a Kickstarter. So I had no idea this had even been a thing. I just as I was looking on Amazon, uh, doing some research on this, this came up in the recommending, and I started reading about this uh, uh, this thing. And uh, yeah, it, it was just suddenly available on Amazon for about 30, 37, 38 pounds. So I had to pick it up. And, and from the quick Kickstarter videos, it's a proper NES like history, and uh, they go through the f f everything from like behind the scenes interviews and and all sort of articles about different parts of the the system's life and how it how it all came together and how the NES took off. And well, I'm going to have to lay this on my knee to change the pages because it's really heavy. But like, you know, some of the history stuff there, that like some of the early Donkey Kong toys and the arcade history and how they, they built it all. And then it goes on to things like the Super Mario Brothers movie, the t-shirts and stuff, and the serials. And then it goes a bit like the 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 part of the NES Punk book in the back, because it, it has every NES game in it, and a brief article on each. I've not read it yet, it literally just arrived. Uh, this morning <laughs> so uh, uh, I'm just working my way through that but uh, I'm very chuffed to bits it's a very very high quality print and you, you can really feel there's, there's from having a brief read of it you, you can there's a lot of love gone into that the, the quality and the writing it really is 
top notch. And some of these kickstarter things, you, they, they, they seem okay to start off and then you, you get a bit further and you realise you know, they've not been able to afford a, a proper editor or it's, it looks like someone's done, done it all on a spell checker, but not this. It looks like it's had a lot of uh, real good effort going into it. So yeah, I'm chuffed to bits. That's, uh, that's my NES collecting of the, of the day for the moment. I'm going to have a break for a really long time. I need to start playing all this stuff rather than focusing on getting extra bits. So uh, yeah, I think we're going to leave it there, there guys for now. I've got our long have I been talking that feels like a lifetime as always thanks for watching and look forward to another video soon